everybody. Today we are making a vanilla waffle cone. Then we're going to put our I Heart peanut butter ice cream in it. So we got to cook it for one minute. We're going to take it on out and then we are going to... We got to roll up the waffle cone. So we got our Reese's peanut butter cup. We got our graham cracker and I got chocolate ice cream to complete our I Heart peanut butter ice cream. So we got to make sure the Reese's is chopped up really well because it's a little bit of a harder candy. It doesn't want to spread well when we go to spread it. With our cones, we always spread it. So we're going to get three rolls out of it. And the other half you see on the right is going to be a soft serve. And we got our peanut butter drizzle. This part right here is going to go in the bottom of the cone. Then we're going to... And we can't forget about the little bitty baby one. Then we're going to add some more Reese's. And then I'm going to add a little more peanut butter drizzle. And that is going to complete our I Heart peanut butter ice cream and a vanilla waffle cone. What's up, everybody? We're doing Disney Dole Whip today. It is our coconut milk mixed with whipped cream, pineapple, and vanilla wafers. My employees love to make this on the side as their ice cream for the day. So I thought I'd show you it as we're wrapping up summer here. This would be a perfect summer flavor. So let's... And we can't forget about the little bitty baby one. Except that was not a really good roll. But we're going to add some vanilla wafer, some pineapple, some whipped cream to top it on off. And that is our Disney Dole Whip rolled ice cream with some vegan coconut milk. What's up, everybody? It is Derby Week for the Kentucky Derby, one of the most famous horse races every year, and this is Derby Pie Rolled Ice Cream. It is pecan pie, it is a brownie, and then at the end we are adding a chocolate drizzle to it. This is our flavor of the week all week. We've actually never done this until this week, so I'm really excited. So here we go with the chocolate drizzle. Then we're going to... And we can't forget about that little bitty baby one. Then I need to take some promo pictures, so I'm putting it on the machine in a pyramid. I'm going to add some brownie, and then I'm going to add some pecan pie to show what is in it. Then I'm going to layer it off with some more chocolate drizzle. And I got to take some pictures, put it on our social media, and here it is, Derby Pie Rolled Ice Cream. What's up, guys? We are doing something super special today. These are candied jalapenos I'm about to roll from a business owner down the street that makes them. This is awesome. I always like say it's like eating Icy Hot, which I've never done, but it, the, you know that first bite is cold, and then you wait a few seconds, and you got a sting of spicy jalapenos. So I'm going to spread it out. I'm going to pan it so you guys can see all the jalapeno in there. If you love spicy stuff, this is for you. So let's... And we can't forget about the little bitty baby one. Then I'm going to put it in my cup. I'm going to top it with a few more candied jalapenos and a little bit of pineapple to get a sweet taste to it. And that is our candied jalapeno rolled ice cream. What's up, everybody? Today is National Dog Day, so we decided to create our very own Pup Cup special just for today. It is banana, it is a peanut butter drizzle, and we are mixing it with our vegan coconut milk just for the dog. This is something special. You might as well treat your dog if it's National Dog Day. I don't have a dog. One day I'm going to get one, and I can't wait to get one, but I want to make it special for everyone else, so let's... And we can't forget about the little bitty baby one. Then I'm going to drizzle some more peanut butter on our pup cup. I'm going to add a few little doggy treats, and then we are actually going to get it tested out on one of my employees' dog named Sadie. And Sadie seems to love it. So bring your dogs out, treat them, and enjoy the day. What's up, guys? We're doing chocolate chip cookie dough rolled ice cream today. Although we don't serve this on our menu, I get asked a lot about chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. So we do have it as a topping you get at the end. So I thought I'd grab some today, put it on the machine, and roll one up for you. We're going to make a small one today, so that's why we're only spreading it half wide. So let's... And we can't forget about the little bitty baby one. Then we're going to put on our cup. I'm going to add some chocolate chips and a little bit of chocolate drizzle. And that is going to complete our chocolate chip cookie dough rolled ice cream. What's up, guys? We're back. We have partnered with Sweetie Pie's Bakery on Main Street today to do a drumstick cupcake flavor of the week. So I had to go by, pick up my drumstick cupcake. Then we're going to cut in half just because it is so much product to roll in one ice cream. But you're going to get to see what the inside looks like, and then I'll kind of explain. So this is a chocolate cake. On the inside, it's got a caramel and vanilla buttercream. 
On the top, it is chocolate with peanuts and waffle cone pieces. And then on the inside, there is also a chocolate ganache filling, which is like a hard, smooth chocolate. Then we got to spread it. This was quite hard to spread because there is literally so much product in there. But as always, we got to roll it on up. And we can't forget about the little bitty baby one. Then we're going to top it with a brownie, some almonds, and then a caramel drizzle. And that will be our drumstick flavor of the week with Sweetie Pie's Bakery on Main. What's up, guys? We are back today doing strawberry boba ice cream. If you've never had boba or bubble tea, or these are also go by popping pearls, they're basically little balls of juice that pop in your mouth, and these happen to be strawberry flavor. This is a super popular topping we have, especially among kids and all those who get fruit flavors. So we are making a small one today, so we're only spreading it for half the machine. Then we are going to roll it on up. And we can't forget about the little bitty baby one. Then we're going to put it in our cup and add some more strawberry boba. What's up, guys? We are doing a s'moreo today. This is something one of my employees came up, so I got to give credit to him. It's graham cracker, toasted marshmallow, and an Oreo. So... We are burning that marshmallow. It is going to allow us to chop it up real well, and it's also going to get an authentic s'more taste all the way throughout once you see. S'mores, in general, is one of our more popular sellers. It's awesome. Kids and adults of all ages love to see us roast a marshmallow. Some of you are probably going to comment, I don't like my marshmallow burnt. Well, let me tell you, it helps the taste get all the way throughout. Once we spread it, you can see all that Oreo in the burnt marshmallow, and then we are going to add a chocolate drizzle. Then, after we add that chocolate drizzle, we are going to roll it on up and we can't pick it up at the little bit too, baby one. Then we're going to add another toasted marshmallow and an Oreo to complete s'moreo rolled ice cream. What's up, everybody? We are back. We are doing cookie butter and butter cookies today because that is our flavor of the week. If you've never had butter cookies, they are an awesome sweet treat. And cookie butter, well, it's something new. It tastes just like a spiced cookie and smells just like a cinnamon Teddy Graham if you have ever had those. And if you haven't, man, you're really missing out. But what I'm also going to show you today is how we take promo pictures for all my ice cream shop photos. So, but first, let's... Roll it on up, and we can't forget about the little bitty baby one. Then I'm going to stack them in a pyramid, add my cup, and add the ingredients we use to take our promo pictures. The top roll got a little messed up, as you're going to see in a little bit, but we added butter cookies. I turned them into butter cookie sandwiches, and that is our cookie butter and butter cookie flavor of the week. What's up, everybody? We are back. We are doing something super awesome today. It is going to be our coffee attic milkshake that we sell. It's a little different than the rolled ice cream we're doing, but I wanted to show you some more milkshakes, and this is by far my favorite one. So we took vanilla ice cream, we put on some roasted almonds, and then what you just saw was our espresso that we're mixing on in to give an awesome coffee flavor. I drink coffee every day, and if you want something just a little relaxing, I feel like, some iced coffee or a frappuccino, why not come by and get a coffee attic milkshake from us? So once we get it frozen a little mixed up then we're going to add some more vanilla ice cream before we put it in our mixer this is going to get it into a nice liquidy shake form so after we mix it on up typically we add a chocolate drizzle to our coffee attic rolled ice cream so here we go we're going to add a chocolate drizzle then we're going to get our spoon and mix it on up this gets a nice chocolate and coffee flavor to it then we're going to drizzle on the inside of our cup we want these to be aesthetically pleasing so here we go we're pouring in our ice cream and then it's going to be the final product We are back. We are doing grandma's banana pudding today. So with a snap of the finger, I turned our banana into banana pudding. This flavor of the week has vanilla wafers, a slice of banana, and then banana pudding that we just made. So I'm mixing this with our vanilla ice cream. I think it pairs best with vanilla or our chocolate or our coconut milk, which is why I'm showing you this. If you love bananas and you love ice cream, this is a match made in heaven for you. It spreads awesome. The pudding and banana smash up real nicely. Then the vanilla wafer is going to give us a little bit of texture with it. And so let's roll it on up and we can't forget about the little bitty baby one so we're gonna add some vanilla wafers to top it off a little more banana and then as always i have to have my whipped cream and that is our grandma's banana pudding flavor of the week with vanilla ice cream 
Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.